We'll use the wizard to create a simple robot that will use available strategies and signals. In the wizard, you can see a box for entering the name of the robot and two options. Select a ready-made strategy or create your own. First, let's look at selecting one of the ready-made strategies. Give your new robot a name and select a strategy, such as Bollinger Bands. Read the strategy description, then select it and go to the next step. Now set trading preferences for the robot. In particular, which type of account will be used for trading, a practice one or a real one? The asset the robot will be trading. You can have several of these, so let's choose two. Euro US Dollar and US Dollar Japanese Yen. Next, enter the initial amount of the transaction. Since this strategy uses the Martingale principle, this amount can be increased after a loss. Let's set the value equal to 1. In the box below it, enter the amount allocated for trading. This is the maximum amount of funds that the robot can use for transactions. The higher this value is, the more unsuccessful transactions in a row your robot can handle and give you a profit. You can also make additional settings that will disable the robot if one of the following events occurs. Profit taking. Enter the amount that you want the robot to earn and then stop. Let's say 50. Loss limit. Here, you should enter the amount that the robot can lose in unprofitable transactions. Let's set 500. The limitation of losses in a row. Let's leave it empty since the Martingale strategy will always cover a loss to break even or take a profit. Moving on to the next step. Now we can test the created strategy on historical data. Choose an asset from one of the ones we specified in the previous step, Euro US Dollar or US Dollar Japanese Yen. We'll set the time period to 24 hours. You can change the amount allocated for trading and the transaction amount, but the values are taken from the previous step, so you don't need to change them as long as you are happy with everything. Click Test. If you are satisfied with the efficiency, percentage of profitable and unprofitable trades, profit, and all the other results, go to the next step. Here you set the publication options, the name and description. Your robot is ready to go. Run it on your account. Now let's try making a standard strategy more complex by adding custom signals to it. To do this, go back to the wizard window, enter a name for the new robot, and choose the Create Your Own Strategy tab. Read the description and click Create Strategy. Here you will see a box for creating the robot, with signals for indicators and filters to the right. Let's create a robot that will start transactions if there were signals from both the Bollinger indicator and in the direction of the last candle simultaneously. To do this, in the right-hand menu, click the Bollinger indicator and drag the desired signal from the drop-down list to the box in the wizard. In the same way, find the signal in the direction of the last candle in the Candles section and drag it under the Bollinger block. You can create another additional signal that will search for entry points concurrently with the first one. It will be based on the signal from the MACD indicator and the signal in the direction of the last candle. Let's also add another filter which will not allow you to open a transaction if the profit percentage on the asset is below a certain value. This section is on the Filters Open a Position tab. Drag it into the designer. Open the settings and specify a value, for instance, 75. Now go to the next step. Here, you need to select one of the money management strategies. Let's choose Fixed Amount. Select it and move on. Similar to what we've already done with the ready-made strategy, set options for the trading robot and go to the next step. Now we can test the robot on historical data.
the robot didn't turn out to be very successful. Let's try changing the money management strategy to Martingale. Go back to step 1.2 and change the money management strategy to Martingale. At the bottom, set the parameter that is responsible for what percentage of profit covers losses in all the previous unsuccessful transactions. Let's set it to 5%. Once again, go to the testing step. This result is satisfactory, so continue to the publication settings. Give the robot a description and launch it on your account.